Shenanigans in the Montgomery County, Pennsylvania Courthouse Presents, Florence's Story. The court documents that you are about to see are real. The people are real. The story is real. Florence lived with her daughter and her grandson. This document shows that attorney Robert Slutsky petitioned the courts on behalf of Montgomery County's Aging and Adult Services to deem Florence incapacitated. In his petition, Robert Slutsky recommended a total stranger, Intervention Associates, be the guardian instead of a family member. Judge Lois Murphy assigned Intervention Associates as Florence's fee-based guardian of the person. The representative of Intervention Associates is Louis Horvath. Additionally, Murphy assigned Intervention Associates, total stranger of Florence as Florence's fee-based guardian of the estate. The court-appointed fee-based guardian was allowed to enter Florence's safe deposit box in the presence of the bank officer. In Judge Lois Murphy's decree, there is no mention that a family member be present to observe what happens to Florence's possessions. Additionally, the fee-based guardian, who does not know Florence, was given the power to exercise any powers over the said safe deposit box as Florence may have exercised. Essentially Judge Lois Murphy has given total control of Florence's possessions to a total stranger. Although, Florence did not ask Montgomery County's aging and adult services to commandeer her life, Florence was forced to pay attorney Robert Slutsky, who represented Montgomery County's aging and adult services, for his petition that he wrote and submitted to the courts in order to appoint a total stranger, who will also bill Florence's estate, as her guardian. Florence was forced to pay attorney Robert Slutsky $4,673 in this instance. <coughs> attorney Robert Slutsky was paid from Florence's estate for writing the petition in May of 2011. In November of 2011, Intervention Associates uses the same attorney, Robert Slutsky, to petition the courts to revoke Florence's trust. Does this mean there was an agreement between attorney Robert Slutsky and court-appointed guardian, Louis Horvath? Did attorney Robert Slutsky recommend Intervention Associates as guardian, knowing that Intervention Associates would turn around and use Robert Slutsky as their attorney? Remember, Florence is forced to pay both their bills. Florence stated in her trust, that she wanted her daughter to be the first successor trustee, upon her incapacity. <coughs> However, the fee-based guardian, Louis Horvath, petitions the court through his attorney Robert Slutsky, to revoke, Florence's trust. Louis Horvath petitioned the courts to revoke Florence's trust, even though the trust specifically stated, the rights of revocation, withdrawal, alteration, and amendment reserved in this article, may only be exercised by the settler, and may not be exercised by a guardian. <coughs> Instead of honoring Florence's wishes, which were for Florence's daughter to be the trustee, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania Judge Lois Murphy revoked Florence's trust and handed it over to a complete stranger. The complete stranger, who Judge Murphy assigned originally as Florence's guardian, who is also the same guardian who was recommended by Montgomery County's Aging and Adult Services through Robert Slutsky. As well as revoking Florence's trust, Florence's court-appointed fee-based guardian petitioned the courts to force the sale of Florence's family's house to pay for Florence to be put in a nursing home. Florence lived with her daughter and her grandson and owned the house jointly with her daughter. Although Florence lived with her daughter and grandson, she was forced to pay for care in her home too. In this instance, $37,354.54. Additionally, Florence was forced to pay the court-appointed guardian out of her estate. The guardian is a stranger causing many problems for Florence's daughter, the same daughter who Florence had chosen to be her advocate in case she was incapacitated. In this instance, Florence was forced to pay Intervention Associates $12,253.08, along with $1,843.25 for expenses. The grand total Florence was forced to pay was $51,450.87 for services imposed upon her by Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. The court documents show that Florence's daughter did not want her mother to be moved into a nursing home. Although Florence's daughter did not want her mother placed in a nursing home, 
the court-appointed guardian moved Florence into a nursing home that cost more than $9,000 a month. Florence's wishes were that her daughter be in charge, but her wishes were ignored in the Montgomery County Courts. Next, Intervention Associates through attorney Robert Slutsky petitioned the court to have Florence's daughter and grandson ejected from their home. Florence would be forced to pay both attorney Robert Slutsky and the court-appointed guardian Intervention Associates, V.A. Lewis Horvath, for the time they take to write petitions, sell the property, and evict her family from her home. Next, let's look at the changes to Florence's medication after being appointed a professional guardian by the Montgomery County Courts. In May of 2011, Florence's daughter was in charge of taking Florence to doctors of her choosing. The medication prescribed for Florence was for sleeping, high blood pressure, her thyroid, fluids, and her bladder. In the court documents, from December of 2011, which is after Florence has a professional guardian instituted, it states that Florence's evening dose of Haldol has been doubled. Haldol is used as a chemical restraint in the elderly, and the side effects of this drug are hellacious. The black box label of Haldol states that it can increase the risk of death in older adults and is not approved for use for elderly with dementia. Additionally, it was unclear if Florence was still taking Seroquel or Aspartol which the Guardian had instituted as well according to court records. If so, the mixture of drugs was potentially life-threatening. As seen previously, Intervention Associates has successfully petitioned to have Florence's trust revoked, arranged for Florence to be administered deadly medication, had Florence put in a nursing home, and petitioned the courts to eject her family from their house. Although, Florence nor any of Florence's family members hired Intervention Associates. Florence is forced to pay Intervention Associates $9,106.70, in this instance, through Judge Lois Murphy's decree. Florence is forced to pay Robert Slutsky $9,236.50. In the stroke of Judge Lois Murphy's pen, Florence is forced to pay $18,343.20. This is in addition to previous bills Florence was forced to pay these alleged criminals. Montgomery County's Aging and Adult Services petitioned the courts to request that Intervention Associates become the fee-based guardian of Florence through their attorney Robert Slutsky. In Intervention Associates' initial inventory, Florence was worth $343,715.23 in August of 2011. The Guardian arranged for inappropriate medication for Florence, revoked her trust, forced her to move into a nursing home, and petitioned the courts to have her family evicted from their home. Florence died approximately two years after being put under guardianship. In Intervention Associates' final report, Florence's estate had dwindled to $10,121.48. In approximately two years' time, Florence's estate was allegedly fleeced of $333,593.75. The money was used to forcibly pay fees to attorney Robert Slutsky, Guardian Intervention Associates, and the care companies, and nursing homes of their choosing, along with other expenditures. Is there a criminal racket in Montgomery County's Department of Aging and Adult Services aided and abetted by the corrupt judges in the Montgomery County, Pennsylvania Courthouse? Shenanigans in the Montgomery County, Pennsylvania courthouse is dedicated to exposing the alleged criminal racket that exploits the citizens of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. The views in this presentation are the opinion of the narrator, which are protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution.